After two years of war, the sound of gunfire has been replaced by loud machinery. Where soldiers and civilians once fell, buildings are now going up. An attempt to leave the region's dark history behind. People are finally finding some relief after many hardships. When there is peace like this, people can focus on their livelihoods. The two-year war between Ethiopian federal forces and Tigrayan rebel authorities, marked by atrocities on both sides, killed roughly 600,000 people, forced several millions from their homes and triggered widespread hunger. As both sides fought for control of Mekele, the regional capital, they imposed a de facto blockade. No access for humanitarian workers, no access for media and no internet. More than 90% of Tigray's health facilities were damaged, looted or destroyed. In this post-war context, authorities made infrastructure their priority. We are building around 12 roads in the city. We are also working on two hospitals that are currently in progress. During the war, both sides recruited civilians en masse to fight in their ranks. Herman Jebremoran is one of them. He fought with Tigray's People Liberation Front and was forced to disarm and demobilize after the war. He's now working on rebuilding this former battlefield. Now that the war has ended, there's peace. If this peace continues, all public services such as telecommunications, hospitals and schools will bring about substantial change. The road to reconstruction could nonetheless be a rocky one. The cash-strapped Ethiopian government estimated it could cost up to 20 billion euros.